Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is your mid-month of August 2021 love and general situation fair reading session for you, Capricorn. I hope you are well. I hope you are doing great. I hope you're finding safe and doing good. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the intuitive message for you, Capricorn? Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Yes, viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Capricorn, I invite you to follow me on my Instagram account. The details is down in the description box below. All other services that I offer outside of the YouTube platform, it is found in the website. So all the transaction, the private reading, extended reading, check out our manifestation items, the journal, it's free shipping worldwide, and the profit goes to my charity. So that is me. Let's start your reading. I will do one more shuffle again and we'll start your reading. This is for Capricorn. Okay, mid-month of August. Love in general. Okay, you've got here the Four of Cups. Okay, Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the World Card in reverse. Okay, you're looking back. You're looking into something. You're looking back. Okay, you're looking into something related to the past. Okay, because it's not over. The Devil Card. I feel like for some of you, you will hear a very interesting news about a person in the past or an offer related or that took place in the past. It was a missed opportunity. It was unfinished business. You will hear a very interesting news and it feels like you and this person have some sort of opportunity again. Um, I feel like this energy will play around August to September up until October for some of you. Um, it's an opportunity to connect with an ex, an ex-lover. A missed opportunity, unfinished business. Um, the external energy is the devil card in reverse. It means that they have moved on, no more toxic. And they realize that after all this time, you're still the one or they still have feelings for you. And I think in a Four of Cups, you're somehow aware of that, okay? So you're going to start talking or connecting with someone. You've got a choice to rekindle an old flame, okay? Because Four of Cups, I feel like it's happening right now for some of you, but it, it's going to happen soon. It's going to take you by surprise. The The highlight of this um, this message, Capricorn, is that they're they're over with whatever took place in the past the pain the hurt they have healed they have moved on for them the issue it's close but they're not over with you like they could really look at they can really look look back and say i have closed the chapter of my life in there but i i have not moved on from capricorn like you know they they don't want to talk about the past they want to talk about you and them in the future okay so they really really fully like bring like bring it on let's try again let's not talk about the past the hurt the pain the disappointment let's just talk about you and me and what's in store in the future okay so the devil card in reverse the judge the judgment card in reverse like i'm not over you i'm over the i'm over about the past but not you mm. that comes so strong Okay, next reading is you've got the Eight of Swords, Indecisive, mm -hmm. Three of Swords, Six of Wands, the Eight of Wands. I feel like this, this first reading, it's a continuous, it's a continuation of the second reading. So, you're very indecisive about the person. There's a, there's a person in the past who would connect, reconnect with you, um... They will pursue you, okay? Because six of wands, because for you, they will pursue you, okay? Because um, you're going to tell this person, you break my heart, you know? You're going to tell this person that, oh, you break my heart, you cause a third party. Um, you will throw them with a lot of questions, concerns, worries, and it is as if you're testing this person and you really want to know their intention, okay? 
and I feel like the person will accept the challenge. They will accept the challenge, your crit your criticism. They will answer all. They will answer all, answer all of your queries. They will answer all of your concerns. If it was their fault, they will take it accountable. So, what I'm seeing the way you and this person communicate, it, they will pursue you. They will convince you. You will give them. You will throw them with some sort of complicated questions. And I feel like you're going to challenge them, three of swords, because you want to know their real intention. Um, this person, they're not going to give up. I don't know. I feel like you're dealing with a person who has an accent, okay? Um, so six of wands, you will, you will make it difficult, or maybe you won't reply, you won't respond, or there's some sort of no interest coming from you. And they are aware of that. They're quite prepared at six of wands that you might reject them. But it doesn't matter because that's why they're going to pursue you. You know, they've got a lot of passion and energy to allow you time to figure things out. You know, eight of wands, they will pursue you. They will convince you. Okay. Um, it's an ex. It's a person who you dated on and off. And it's unfinished business. And their energy, it comes to me as very persuasive and... um it's it's very authentic and real like they won't hide that they made a mistake and they're taking accountability of that they will even you know they will even say to you logically um i did a lot of like this person is is coming with a lot of with a very strong and firm reasoning that it was my fault but if you love me then you'll forgive me and you're going to tell this person, criticize this person, three of swords. You know, it, it might take time. And they said, it's okay. I'll be around, eight of wands. I will pursue you. They will pursue you, you know. I'll be the one to heal your broken heart. I caused that. So let me heal it for you. They will pursue you very, very strong. Okay. Let's see. Um, I hope I will not have the same. Okay. Death card. Okay. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But for some of you, if it doesn't, they will pursue you August, September, up until November. If it doesn't work, then they will leave you alone. Like, you know, a lot of eight in here. Um, they will pursue you definitely. If up until November, you know, like lots of eight, like eight, 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 and eight, eight, eight and eight so i'm seeing this person pursue you up until november and if you really do not allow them to enter you or like to if you don't forgive them then they will set you free but i think they will really pursue you okay let's see okay all right let's see what else is coming forward see what is the message for capricorn the chariot card three of pentacles um, for some of you guys, there's going to be a delay in terms of moving, transferring uh, from point A to point B. There's going to be a delay, okay? August, September. Four of Wands, it could be buying a house or moving to another house or relocation. The Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit card. I mean, this, o this offer, okay? okay, there's some sort of changes when it comes to offer of moving from one place to another it could be a journey it could be a travel travel it's gonna be um there's gonna be a delay for a one still pentacles if you if you force um you will hit a lot of roadblocks like if you really force this to happen it might just um it might just stress you out because you will you will you know you will experience a lot of roadblock in pursuing this relocation moving from point a to point b um if you wait around the month of september the offer the opportunity the situation is still open then you might as well follow up or catch up or reopen this request this request so pretty much it's something of a delay that's gonna happen august to september catch up around the end of september going to october 
there's a possibility that it would work. But between now up until the mid of September, it seems to be complicated. You would know that it's complicated because every step you take, block. Next step, block. Next step, block. Try this side, block. So every step you take, there's a block. It means that it's not meant to happen. But if it's open, it's open pretty much end of September to October. So if you try again, again, second time around, maybe after a month or after two months, um, it will succeed. But if you try sooner now, it's more of a failure and it's going to create it. Like if you try, you would see block and block and block. So it's just a sign from the universe that it's not meant to happen. There's a delay. It, it needs to be accepted. Okay. So um, this is your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. I hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to click the bell, click subscribe. And all of the services that we offer, it's in the website. If you haven't read the, the, the New Moon in Leo, the blog, the manifestation, the rituals that you can do in the New Moon, um, we have put the link down the description box below just in case you're interested to have a two, three minutes read, okay? The New Moon in Leo... The, the cosmic vibe is still active for a week. So do your intention, set your intention, your manifestation, okay? I'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.